Hello and welcome back to another GCSE revision lesson. Now, carrying on through the AQA Worlds and Lives anthology, okay, working our way through the entire poetry collection. I now want to move on to look at important contextual information that you should be aware of if you're starting this anthology and more specifically the poem Name Journeys by Roman Mundere, okay? So what I'm going to do, as you can see behind me, is go over this very brief mind map I've put together relating to both the author and the influences that will have influenced the poem itself, okay? And this is really important because you need to have contextual understanding of what influenced a lot of the writing of Roman Mundere and more specifically Name's Journey, okay? Now, let's begin by discussing the poet herself, okay? So remember that Roman Mundere is originally from India. She was born in India and she migrated, so she left her home country, India, and moved to Manchester in the 1970s when she was just five years old, okay? So she left India when she was quite young. She was only five years old. And after she settled in Manchester, she stayed there for a while before her family decided to move on to Leicester. And now as an adult, she's a modern poet, she's still alive. She currently resides in Scotland, okay? So she is a poet that's very much used to migrating and moving between cultures, okay? Now, when she moved to the UK, this was a very important turning point for her, right? Culturally, but also there were specific, very negative instances, especially when she was in education so early on as a foreign student, that she faced a lot of obstacles, okay? So when she moved to the UK, she was initially put in a class for what she, in her own words, says was a, a class for the educationally subnormal, okay? In other words, her teachers judged her as being subnormal and basically put her in a class where she needed some form of correction, okay? And she learned English in order to, to, to correct her educational subnormality. Of course, that's atrocious and teachers are not supposed to view and label the student in this way. However, this is an early experience that really influenced her writing, okay? And of course, her writing is very much influenced by her experiences as an immigrant, not only by being labeled in this really terrible way, but also more generally as an outsider, seeing things from an outsider's perspective, okay? So even Name's Journey itself is influenced in this way. Now, the final thing to bear in mind about Roman Mundere is she not only is disabled, but she's queer, okay? So she's part of the LGBT community and she identifies as a feminist. A lot of this information and all of this comes into play in her writing, okay? So this is really, really super important to understand when it comes to studying the poem name journeys itself. So now that you've got this background information, let's now do a deep dive and a line by line analysis of this entire poem by Roman Mundere. 